You know, I talked about this a week ago, and I recorded the whole upload with my mic off. And usually I'm really good about double-checking those things before I upload. But that was, that was that one day I knocked out a lot of content in a row, and I didn't double-check on this one. So I got to get my thoughts on NWA, the CW, and the app. And what I have to talk about is more about the app. I said in my last upload, and I say it all the time, I'm not one of those podcasters that reads the dirt sheets and starts quoting articles. And, you know, I like to to give my opinion, my thoughts, but that's not the type of podcaster I am or really ever will be. And, uh, you know, NWA is a promotion that I was really into the first season, as most people were. Pandemic hit it very, very hard came back, production quality is extremely low. Uh, The talent level was not not what we were used to. And even now, where I think the company and the show is the best it's been since season one, there is not an episode, including the one on tonight, there's not an episode where they don't put out the card and you're like, who the fuck is that? Um, So that's kind of one of my knocks. Uh, I think they have a nice core roster, but they they bring in entirely too many people. It's like who the who the freaking hell is this? And it's we want to see new wrestlers. That's not what I'm getting at, but too many wrestlers that really don't need to be on the show. You know, uh, I understand he wants to try different things, throw shit at the wall, and see what sticks. But by now, all of you know about the whole CW thing. Billy Corgan said Top 20 Network, got a couple deals. If he has a reality show that he's paying for, who the F cares? That's something he wants to do or documentary, whatever it is exactly. And then we all know that NXT is now there. And I believe Women of Wrestling is on there as well. And there was the whole cocaine spot at Sawin, which honestly, when I was watching a pay-per-view, I didn't think anything of it. Uh, wrestling is funny because it's entertainment, but the minute something like that happens on, sc- on screen, now it's sports, right? It's considered live sports. But, it, but it's entertainment. you know. So for me, I was not um, particularly offended by it. <laughs> a lot of people were, obviously. And it seemed like it put the CW deal in jeopardy. And and Billy Corgan will eventually let us know what's going on because he's a really transparent owner. That's one of the things I like quite a bit uh, about him. Very transparent. He's going to tell you what's going on and what's not. This is not Tony Khan blowing smoke up your ass. Um, He's going to let you know. He's going to put that information out there. But right now, the NWA has landed on the CW app. And people will say, wow, what a step down from YouTube. It's really not a step down from YouTube. And I know that the general consensus about YouTube is that everybody has it, right? But here's the thing, and a lot of people don't know this and me because I've read up on these kind of things, study these kind of things. Statistically, people do not like to watch television shows on YouTube. I know that it almost doesn't make sense because you can pull up an app and it's got the same general concept. But every social platform, every streaming platform has a certain type of audience, just like the TikTok audience wants to watch videos for 15 seconds or whatever it is, a minute. YouTube audience is actually kind of in the middle to where uh, the short content, I know they do the shorts now, but the short content isn't popular but the really long content isn't either. They YouTube is a platform for people like something in the middle. And by the middle, I mean like 10, 15 minutes. So statistically, YouTube is not somewhere people like to watch a television show, whether it's NWA, Impact, whatever. It's just not. Maybe it doesn't make sense to you, but numbers don't lie. That's just, the, that's just how it is. Now, someone pulling up an app, the CW app, like, Habits are built. You pull up the CW app to watch television shows. YouTube, you pull up to watch anything. And the problem with YouTube is you're competing against everything. You're competing against music, competing against clowns, magicians, 
fat chicks, like every every there's a genre for everything. Yens is so important. So when you pull up the CW app, CW is a network that knows their target audience and all the shows somewhat fit together, right? They're not completely random. Um, and, and there's promotion within the app. So if you pull up the app and you're watching Gotham Knights or something, that trash show, it's it's going to let you know what other shows are on the freaking app. The home screen is going to show you what's on the app. YouTube does not promote you. There's a big difference. You can try your absolute damnedest to get into the recommended videos of YouTube, but YouTube does not promote you. YouTube compares. Uh, YouTube cares about YouTube. An app like the CW, TNT, whatever, they care about themselves, that app. And the people behind that app, it's their job to make that app successful, to make it healthy, and to make it downloadable and something that people want to utilize. So them, if they're on the freaking app, that's actually great. It is an upgrade, especially because you can watch, you can binge watch from an app. It's it's just right there. You just find the episode you want. If you want to watch a couple in a row, boom, boom, boom. It's just all there. YouTube is not really organized like that. To an extent, you have, um, you know, different groups and menus and, and and you know things you can put together and playlists. But again, with YouTube, you're competing against everybody, every genre, everything in the world. People getting pantsed, uh, prank calls, all that. And again, people don't utilize YouTube to watch television shows. So if they never end up on the actual CW network, it, it, this is a big step up. It's not, um, you know, they had an opportunity to, to get past Impact, to be honest, if they were going to be on the CW. Uh, now they've taken a big step backwards. And you see someone like Camille leaving. So uh, I'm sure some of the rumors out there about Corgan and the way the company is being ran, there's got to be some truth behind that. Because uh, why would you be leaving the company when they're taking steps forward? So obviously this is not ideal for Billy Corgan and NWA because uh, this was probably their last chance if we're just being real to really get on a good network. I, I don't, you know, you might have uh, cut a deal with the CW, but how many other top 20 networks? There might be one of that group that might be open to listening to what you have to say in the future. But if this is what it is going forward, it is a step up from fight. It is a step up from YouTube. I can freaking assure you. And monetarily, it probably is as well. YouTube um, it gives you absolute peanuts. It was a source of income a long time ago because they don't pay what you put into it. They are there for YouTube. And that's it. You know, so um, if this is what it is and they're, they're just stuck on the app, uh, you know, they're in a much better place than people really understand it's just that the average person doesn't understand viewing habits